Hi guys, Imagine. in today's video you can see my girls are here. We are going to bake a lemon drizzle cake. It's for Sam's school fundraising for bake sale. It's going to be a lemon drizzle cake. That's yeah. what she has ordered for. And they are going to help me making it. For the lemon drizzle cake, the ingredients you are going to need are, this is 175 grams of self-raising flour. And this is 175 grams of caster sugar. This is actually golden caster sugar. That's fine. And this is 175 grams of unsalted softened butter. It's in room temperature right now. And you're going to need about three eggs. These are organic, free range eggs. That's good for health. And three fourth teaspoon of baking powder you need. And also you need the zest of one whole lemon. You know one thing about zesting the lemon? When you zest it, just scrape it once. Don't go too deep, it'll be bitter. Girls, we're going to zest the lemon first. You know that, don't you? You just have to scrape it once. No, yeah? not caster sugar. Caster, this is caster sugar, honey. You know the normal granulated sugar? Yeah. You know the sugar with specks? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can touch it in your hand and between your, put it between your fingers and you can feel like sand grains, yeah. don't you? You know, and you also know the icing sugar. That is the powdered sugar. This caster sugar is in between them. So it will dissolve in the mixture very quickly. Yeah? Do that is caster sugar. Black, Not icing sugar. sugar. Icing sugar is the powdered one. Yeah. yeah. So this is kind of semi-powdered. It's kind of like icing sugar because you can't see icing sugar in icing. Yeah. This is neither granulated nor icing sugar. It's in between those two. I want to do that. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Mom, I it's a lovely fresh it. smell. I will do with this sugar. Yeah. Mom, I will do with this sugar. Yeah? Girls, what is the first thing you need to do while baking? Wash your hands. That you've already done, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. What next? Preheat the, the oven. oven. Yes. To how many degrees for this cake? 180. 180 degrees. Go do it now. Who knows how to preheat the oven? Me. Yeah, let's and do it. Girl. Yeah, good girl. I got butter. And the next thing you have to do is butter, grease your loaf tin. Grease it properly, Sam. Yeah. Use quite a bit of butter so it won't stick to the sides. It's hard because it's sticking to my fingers. Fingers, yeah. You can wash your fingers a little. Go what on. are you doing? I'm greasing butter to the table. Table? With, you're greasing the lemon to the table. No, oh, it's not coming. It won't. Three eggs go into this. Who's going to break the eggs? Can I break it? Yeah, go ahead. And then me. Don't put the shells in. It's hard to take it out. Be very careful. Three eggs. Are you sure you want to try, Susie? Sissy, be very careful. You shouldn't put the shells in there. Can you help me? Yeah, I'll help you too. Only three of them. Now, we just open it. That's crack open. There. Well done, Sissy. We need to beat this a little bit first. On your first day of kiss, that's my dear lesson to me. Yeah, you're good. Let's 
Now we are going to add this flower. This is self-raising flower. Flower goes in there. And I'm also going to add, what is this? Is baking powder. Baking powder. Just three fourth teaspoon. The baking powder spilled in my hand. Oh, you can clean it up. Three fourth teaspoon goes in there. Mix everything together, sir. Give it a little. Until it's really smooth. Go on. Let's go like this first. Yeah, mix it up. So, so it doesn't get the flower cloud. Mix it a little bit and then switch it on. Ready? Yeah, yeah go. ready. You might want to close your eyes. Go, go, go. It's a lemon drizzle cake. <laughs> so we need to add the lemon, lemon zest. Uh, so why do we lemon drizzle cake? It has to be drizzled. Yeah, we are going to drizzle it at the end. That we are going to make the drizzle. drizzle. Yeah? This is just the cake we are making first. After the cake, we will make the drizzle. Mm -hmm. Mix it up again. Now the mixture goes into the tin. There. And then what are we going to do, Susie? We're going we are to going to bake it. it. For how long? 40 minutes. Ah, you know the recipe then. It's for 40 minutes we are going to bake it. Until it's all nice and golden brown. Yeah? Girls, do we know why we use caster sugar instead of normal sugar in this cake? No. no. In fact, in all the cakes. No, not like that. Because if we have to always use caster sugar instead of normal granulated sugar in cakes. You know why? Because it avoids the speckled tops. You know the speckled tops at the top of the cake? It'll avoid it. It'll blend, it'll dissolve smoothly into the mixture. That's why we always use the caster sugar. Mom? Yeah? I think you shouldn't put it on high heat because it'll get lots of cracks yeah, in there. Yeah, you know as well. We shouldn't put it on the high heat, so we have to put it in the middle of the oven. Yeah, if you put it on the high heat, what will happen? It will like collapse. It will crack. crack. The cake top will crack. Yeah, then, very good. And then if you try to See? scoop it up. I've got the baking master at home. She's a little master. And yeah? if you like scoop it up, it might crumble. It will crumble, yeah. So the heat has to be just perfect. So shall we put it in the oven now? Yeah, okay. Mummy has to do that. Kids are not allowed. With the heat, only mummy or daddy can do that. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right then. That goes in the middle of the oven rack. Okay? That goes in there for about 35 to 40 minutes and then we'll check it. And another thing, do not open the oven in between to check if it's cooked or not. What will happen if you open? You the cake burned. the cake will no it won't burn. The middle of the cake will sink in. Oh, yeah. Because the cold air goes inside the oven. And okay, we don't want that. And it only needs hot air to run. Hot air, yeah. yeah. It's perfect now. In 180 degrees Celsius. So let's bake it for 35 to 40 minutes and we are not going to open it. You can watch it from outside. Mom, you can why, keep watching. Why is that bottom rack? You can use for something else. Like cookies? Cookies and things. It's been 40 minutes now in the oven. See it's kind of shrinking from the sides. That is the sign it's baked properly. It's shrinking from the sides. And it should be springy in the middle. It is. It feels perfect. So let this cool down for a little bit. While it's cooling down, we have to pour the warm drizzle on top of it when its cake is a little bit still warm. Let's prepare the drizzle now, lemon drizzle. We need to make some holes on the cake. We are just doing it with a skewer. So the lemon drizzle will go inside the cake evenly. Make few more holes here. 
here, some more here. It's so soft. It's very soft, isn't it? Yeah. It's very yeah. springy, I love it. And I, I hope it's not going to break. So it's going to be a hit in your bake sale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're going to love it. I think it's enough holes. Maybe a couple of more here. Yeah. One Just there. two more here. Yeah, that's enough right there. We got about 50 grams of normal granulated sugar here and we are squeezing in one lemon into it and see it's little Susie is mixing it good. I remember this was one of our experiments and it dissolved and it was so sticky we couldn't yeah. even get it out. And do this half as well. We are going to need one lemon. Mix it through Susie. Mix it up. Is it hard? Yeah, the lemon's a bit hard. Yeah, it, makes it was in the fridge. I should have kept it outside. It's easy. Can I do it? You can. Press it hard. <laughs> there. Dissolve everything. Take that one seed out. One seed filling. You don't want seed in your cake. I'll get it. Get it out. <laughs> Got it. Use the spoon. Mix it up. Mix it up really well. Dissolve the sugar. But it'll be nice if you have the specks on top of it. It'll be really nice. Yeah, now we are going to drizzle it top of the warm cake. I actually want to taste test it. Not yet. Please. Not yet. Please. We'll make another separate cake for you to eat. This is for Champa's uh, Sam's Charity Bake Sale. Then why okay. got stuck in this book? Can we juice it now? Yeah. Let the cake cool down a little bit more. It's still hot. Okay. okay. Don't. No. Drizzle it all over the cake. We'll make it very yummy. You missed a bit here. Oh, I'll do that. Put some more here on this side. Cover everywhere. It'll go inside the cake. It'll soak it all up. Yeah. Because we made holes in it for all the liquid. <laughs> liquid, um, solid. Glue is liquid and solid. Yeah. All the drizzle. Into the middle. Not in the middle, all of it. Yeah, all in all the of sides it as well. Spread it everywhere. All around. I'm taking the sides off. Yeah, of cover the fire. sides. I'm painting the side door because it's smoking. Yeah. And it's fire. <laughs> it's not smoking on fire. It's, it's, fire. it's just a little bit warm, that's it. I was finished yet. Not yet, we still got some more liquid. I want to eat it. <laughs> no, it's not no. for eating, it. it's for bake sale. It's for my school. No, I mean yeah. the liquid. For raising money for charity. I don't want to eat that, I want to eat the liquid. Wait until the cake is completely cooled down and then take it out of the tin. I'm so sad that I can't eat it. It's for her bake sale. It's a fundraising bake sale. Yeah. And Susie is actually crying a lot. She's sitting in the stairs on her own and she's crying because she can't eat it. So we are going to bake another cupcake for her. A lemon drizzle cupcake for her. We'll catch you guys in our next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.